In this video, I will be preparing for my first ever Italian class with another human being. So far, I've been only learning by myself, autonomously, by social media and my online courses, which I purchased. They are really good and I'm learning a lot, but still, I feel like it's the time that I need a teacher because I am starting to not understand the grammar and I need some sort of guide. And so far, I didn't find any step-by-step -step course that would be affordable to me and that would provide me that step-by-step -step grammar acquisition. If there is any, please let me know below. I will definitely consider it. But for this reason, I've decided to get my first lesson with a teacher. And I found a teacher that speaks both English and Spanish, which is perfect to me because this is what I'm usually searching for in a teacher. She is just a community tutor. She doesn't have any certificates whatsoever. I don't actually mind at all. As long as someone has experience teaching and knows what he or she is talking about, has experience, know the grammar rules and know the basics, that's completely fine to me. Let's see how it goes. And before I have a class at six o'clock today, I will try to do my best to kind of revise everything that I already know in Italian, write what I've been doing today and yesterday. I'm not really sure yet how to form future, so I will stick to present and past. And then I will go back to my online course, continue studying there so that I am all day around Italian language and yeah I would like to tell her basically something more that my name is Mi chiamo Veronica, sono Veronica. I want to tell her something that I've done today so that she can kind of also prepare materials for the next classes moving forward not doing the same things that I already know so that's why I think it's very important to prepare yourself for your first lesson with a teacher if you're planning to start because how other way a teacher can assess your language if you do not speak or you do not prepare. This is why in this video and today I will be doing my flashcards with new words so that I can better communicate with her. During our first lesson I will speak with myself, then I will go to a cafe and again revise my flashcards and study my autonomous course, pre-recorded videos course, which is amazing. I highly recommend it to everyone that wants to start learning Italian on a budget. I will link it below. It is a Skillshare and Udemy course course and then in the end I have my lesson so I will check what I've already learned today and will be able to evaluate my skills with a professional with a native speaker which is what I care the most because I want to kind of establish a plan for our learning I want it to be once a week for now but maybe two times a week later like I have so many languages that I want to learn this year Azerbaijani Italian I want to bring my Russian to be two levels so like there is so much going on so yeah, let's start preparing for Italian this is what we are here for <laughs> Okay, so first I'm going to write all of the question words because these are very important. And now I can see it's dove, which I already know. Dove means where. Cuando, which is when, is the same like in Spanish. Then come, slightly different from Spanish, which is how. Quale, okay, added e. Out of qual, it's quale. Which, cosa, which I know already. Chi, who, perché, why. Okay, actually I've known all of these words. They just didn't click immediately when thinking. So I will try now to make some basic sentences and let's see how it goes. So for example, Oggi vorrei andare in, I'm not sure here, in or a la cafeteria perché voglio bere un altro, it's another I guess, altro caffè, il caffè. My writing is terrible. Voglio bere un altro caffè perché mi piace il sole a fuori questo pomeriggio. At this point I'm just trying to make as many sentences as I can so that I can practice more speaking part and like make very basic sentences, feel more conversational and let's see how it goes. Ho preparata la colazione. Is it how you say it? Preparato. I'm not sure if this is preparata o preparato. Ok, ho preparato la colazione. Voglio al il caffè. Ok, I decided to start with YouTube. Then I will go back to my course. I've done a couple of flashcards, which I will be studying 
right after I finish watching a couple of more videos, I will do a lot of flashcards and I will prepare to say something more about myself other than just the basic information. I feel like it will be a great exercise and also will give my new tutor an idea that I am very motivated so that we can learn a bit faster and focused on conversation. And I really like this channel. I just discovered her. She just dropped out of heaven for me because I literally needed her content. This is what every beginner needs. Mi piace ballare. Faccio i compiti. Ove? Vado al corso di italiano. Sono andata al mare e ho fatto il bagno. Quale città vuoi visitare? For me, essential when finding a teacher is that she speaks more than one language. I mean more than English and the language that I am going to learn. So she speaks also Spanish and I think she also speaks some other language, I'm not sure. I found her on a prep lie. Preply, preply, I'm not sure how to read this platform. I really hope that she's good because you know, you pay for the lesson, you expect it to go well, and if it doesn't go well, then you kind of lose money and you need to go through the same procedure all over again, which is not nice. That's why I think finding the right tutor is not easy at all. So I really hope that she's gonna be cool. Her video was really cool, smiling and like using a lot of body language. For me, this is very important. Let's see, let's see. Voglio bere un altro caffè fuori. Vado al fatteria perché fuori il sole. La mia macchina, la spiaggia, il mare. Io valdo, io valdo. Cafeteria. Oggi molto bollo fuori. Mi piace il sole. Che bella la gatta. Dove vai? Scusi. Scusi. Ok, I have a colleague to help me learn. La domanda è il caffè freddo o caldo? Non lo so. Non lo so. Tutti bevono il caffè freddo, eh, solo io bevo il caffè caldo perché per me oggi molto frio, freddo, non lo so. Later. Okay, I am so tired, just came back home and now I will rest a bit and then have a class. I've done my flashcards, I revised them very well on the beach, I built my sentences as I promised myself, I spoke with myself quite a lot and I established a goal that I want to learn better the grammar, I want to, my, I want my tutor basically to make sure that she uses some great grammar books so we can go through grammar together and build more sentences correctly because my grammar is terrible so far. I have no idea about prepositions. I don't I know a lot of words, but my grammar is just is just terrible. So I definitely want to work with her on that and also to speak. Basically, my goal here is to get conversational in 2023. One hour later. She's like three minutes late now. She's still not here. I start to doubt that she comes for the class. That's super disrespectful and I don't like it at all. Especially that I've been learning all day and the tutor doesn't come. I've booked two weeks before. There was no communication whatsoever that she cannot come or something like that. I don't like this. I am waiting until 10 past six. I already wrote her a message like, hey, our class, and she doesn't respond. So I will have to find another tutor, it seems. <laughs> Hi! Ciao! Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Ok, great. How are you? Piacere di conoscerti. Piacere di conoscerti. Sì. Perfetto. Come ti pronuncia il tuo nome? Eh, Mi nome si pronuncia Veronica. Veronica. Ah, Ver Veronica, ok, perfetto. 
sì. non, non mi ricordo di dove sei sono di polonia eh, abito in A cipro cipro okay. cipro sì ok che bello cosa, cosa fai a cipro conosci eh, a mio marito husband uh -huh. Uh -huh, marito sì. conosci a mio marito tre anni fa three years ago lui di Azerbaijan eh, lavor lavorando qui vivo qui perché mi piace il sole vivo... mi piace il clima eh, mi piace il clima eh, vivo qui perché vivo qui perché mi piace il clima sì ok ok perfetto da quanto tempo vivi a Cipro vivo tre anni qui da tre anni da tre okay. anni qui sì Ok, ok, bello. E che cosa fai? Lavori? So, lavoro social media manager, e professora di eh, lingua polacca. Ok, bello, bello. bello. Ho capito. E, e da quanto tempo siete sposati? Tre eh, mesi. Tre mesi? Sì, Novie okay. no novembre, novembre, novembro. Congratulazioni! Grazie. <ride> Da quanto tempo siete sposati? Okay. Okay, the lesson has finished. She arrived. We had a lesson. The lesson was actually 57 minutes, not 60 minutes, which is not a big deal, but still she was late. She was late eight minutes and then she was running a lesson from a busy cafe. There was like her friends coming and kissing her over in the cheeks. Like three or four times this happened that the lesson just stopped. Whatever I was saying, she just stood up and started to kiss someone there like say hello, greeting people and I don't know like I saw people sitting behind her looking into the camera I felt very uncomfortable to be honest and I believe that she is a good tutor like I feel that she can teach but first lesson kind of gives you an impression and if I buy another lesson I wouldn't like this to happen again and even she asked me in the end like hey would you like to book another lesson whatever and I said yes but now I'm thinking about it and I don't know like when I asked her what will be the plan for our studies she kind of like depends on the person whatever whatever and I don't know the whole lesson was just conversation which my Italian is not yet conversational so I was really struggling and to be honest I don't know I wish to have a tutor maybe I will book another lesson with another tutor that will have a bit bigger vision on how we can improve my Italian but runs the lesson from home from a quiet place and comes for the lesson on time which is very important as well I don't know I don't know what to do I was so motivated I was studying all day and then all of this happened which still is not too bad but I really don't know so with this in mind I would just want to tell you that if you decide to learn a language like Italian or any other searching for a tutor is not an easy task and you feel like you found the right tutor then something comes up and the lesson is not great don't give up find another tutor until you find the best one the best one for your needs the one that will motivate you the one that will keep you you know like happy and giving that positive vibe she was giving me positive vibe during the lesson like i really don't complain about it but i cannot have a lesson with someone that is running a lesson from a busy place full it's loud i cannot hear her properly it's just not nice and it's not respectful so now i'm going to search for another tutor and if those lessons are great i will speak to her again and make sure that she runs the lessons from her home and arrives on time maybe i will give another chance i am not sure yet yeah and that would be it so as a summary of this video don't give up on language learning you can do it i also want to see my progress in italian this year i have 12 months now we are in january 2023 in 12 months i will do a video again speaking italian we will see how it goes and when you're searching for a tutor don't give up search for a tutor until you find one that you like ciao